Direct detection experiments aim to observe low energy recoils, typically a few keVs, of nuclei induced by interactions with particles of dark matter, which, in theory, are passing through the Earth. After such a recoil, the nucleus will emit energy in the form of scintillation light or phonons as they pass through sensitive detection apparatus. To do so effectively, it is crucial to maintain an extremely low background, which is the reason why such experiments typically operate deep underground, where interference from cosmic rays is minimized. Examples of underground laboratories with direct detection experiments include the Stahl Mine, the Soden Mine, the Snow Lab Underground Laboratory at Sudbury, the Grand Sasso National Laboratory, the Canfranc Underground Laboratory, the Bowlby Underground Laboratory, the Deep Underground Science and Engineering Laboratory and the China Jinping Underground Laboratory. These experiments mostly use either cryogenic or noble liquid detector technologies. Cryogenic detectors operating at temperatures below 100 Mk detect the heat produced when a particle hits an atom in a crystal absorber such as germanium. Noble liquid detectors detect scintillation produced by a particle collision in liquid xenon or argon. Cryogenic detector experiments include CDMS, CRESST, Edelweiss, EURECA. Noble liquid experiments include LZ, Xenon, Deep, ARDM, Warp, Darkside, Panda X, and LUX. The large underground xenon experiment. Both of these techniques focus strongly on their ability to distinguish background particles which predominantly scatter off electrons from dark matter particles that scatter off nuclei. Other experiments include Simple and Picasso. Currently there has been no well-established claim of dark matter detection from a direct detection experiment, leading instead to strong upper limits on the mass and interaction cross-section with nucleons of such dark matter particles. The DAMA, NIA and more recent DAMA, LIBRA experimental collaborations have detected an annual modulation in the rate of events in their detectors, which they claim is due to dark matter. This results from the expectation that as the Earth orbits the Sun, the velocity of the detector relative to the dark matter halo will vary by a small amount. This claim is so far unconfirmed and in contradiction with negative results from other experiments, such as LUX, Super CDMS and Xenon 100. A special case of direct detection experiments covers those with directional sensitivity. This is a search strategy based on the motion of the solar system around the galactic center. A low-pressure time projection chamber makes it possible to access information on recoiling tracks and constrain WIMP nucleus kinematics. WIMPs coming from the direction in which the sun travels, approximately towards Cygnus, may then be separated from background, which should be isotropic. Directional dark matter experiments include DMTPC, drift, New Age and MIMAC.